Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. The she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left third echelon, left the life he knew. Left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name. And he found somewhere to go looking. A city called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position. And from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets than the light over. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to help you out. Get some goddamn backup down here. I'm there. Hang on. I'm tapping into the city's power grid. That'll let me overload the transformers near you and blow out those lights. nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. 
But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and he'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. You think you're badass? You and me, man, we're just getting started. Oh. Hey, you think you're up? Shit! Hey, ya! Uh. Ah. Be a man, you deuce! Come out and play! Come out and show yourself, fuck face! What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was medals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Baby, don't look. Sam? What Sam. are you doing, Daddy? What, what are, are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. on this one. Coben? Oh man, why we gotta keep working for this guy? His money's good. He's a pun. Gramco should be running his operation and hiring him out, not the other way around. Gramco's doesn't think so. Coben says frog, Gramco's hops. And I never seen Gramco's do that for nobody. Oh man, whatever. got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramko, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You see anything? No. Oh, man. Shit. The special guy's smart. Probably ran out the back entrance to the market, left us here with our thumbs up. <laughs> Back's all blocked off. He's got to come through here. Hopefully before we die of old age. The hell is he hiding anyway? Jewelry stand, maybe? No, nah, not enough cover. He's gotta be somewhere around here. Probably someplace close. If he was close, we'd see him. We'd take him out. We'd get that reward money Gremkos is promising for whoever puts a cap on this guy's ass.
Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Okay, enough. You want to know, send me. It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Colbin want me dead? <laughs> Don't. Please, stop. You drove the car to hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? I can't tell you. In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Colvin's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Colvin was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in. No matter what. They all got you smoked. That shit's nothing. With the ship that we got in the back, there's two stiffs in the hall of coats on exactly this part. I don't know what you mean, smoked up and freaking chin out. Fuck, man. Thank you. 
missed the hit on Fisher at the market. I guess it's up to us now, man. Man, did you see that list of meds Coben wants? He eats them like candy, man. He probably wants a new flavor. No, I mean a list. He put it all down on the side of a freaking ammo box. Big deal. If he has what the? <laughs> Let someone else down. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? Uh, CIA or KGB guys or something. Uh, they're, they're part of the Russian gig. Coben cleaned them up. Coben cleaned up secret agents? Shit, now I'm impressed. I'm a little freaked. I mean, what the hell is he doing capping spooks? Who the hell has he got us working for? Who's gonna ask him to cap spooks? Who's gonna come looking for these guys? You guys are horses. You get anything off the bodies? No, all they're doing is fingerprint ID. So unless you're the owner, you can't sell it. And you can't use it. Besides, the goggles are covered brain. You had to go there, huh? You really had to go there. I'm just Would saying. you shut up, both of you? I'm getting the feeling that Coven is way over his head this one. He drowns, we drown with him. Oh, man, I liked you better when you were talking about the brain. Come on, come on. The sooner we get this loaded up, the sooner we get it to the Americans at the airport. The sooner we do that, the sooner we get paid. How we doing? We're ahead of schedule. Don't tell those guys that. Yeah, no kidding. Any idea what's in the big box? No, don't care. It's expensive, it's Russian, that's all. So this means we're using the usual pilot for this run? He does all the tough shipments. Yeah, Coben trusts him. The Americans don't, that's why they're going to the route. Oh, shit! Yeah, protecting their investment. All I'm saying is I wouldn't want to be that guy if I tell you that. Yeah, I know. Got that loaded? Check. Crates? Yeah, check. Port materials? Check. Deep uh, crates? Check. What about that? Check. That stuff? Check. <laughs>
Spark Fisher. But you're not getting any further. You two? Looking for me? You're on the right. Well, you're found me. And that's too far as you are, sir. You're not gonna lay a goddamn finger on me, you hear me? You know why not? I take him down. Because you're gonna be dead. You hear me? Dead. So if you wanna run, I'll give you a head start. You keep coming. I'll be waiting. And I'll take care of you the same way I take care of everyone else who fucks with me. And one more thing. Your daughter, your precious little daughter, she was a fucking whore! Hey, buddy. in your head, Fisher! What's the plan, man? The plan? What's the plan? I'll tell you what the plan is. That son of a bitch is gonna come through that door and we're gonna block him when he does! Boss, what if he comes through the window? Then you shoot him! What kind of fucking stupid question is that? You get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. I said shut up! Easy there, boss. Don't tell me to take it easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now. <laughs> I'm not hearing anything. Check out. Shit, shit. He's gotta be 
over there somewhere. Fuck. Ah, no. Ah. <laughs> Something about my daughter. Oh, God, no. I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. Just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Drop it, Fisher! Drop it down! If you won't be hurt! Sam, we need to go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move. Hands in the That's air. it, Fisher. Nice and easy. Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup, I'll be happy when we drop off sneaking you here. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar, take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting him up at Coburn's. That's why they tranked him and flew him back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place upon with his bare hands. He's awake. Fuel isn't free, man. Colonel Prentice. Major Robertson, we don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to 3rd Echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grim's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. 
Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coven. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just, Just get, get to, to it. it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside third echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand-in-hand -hand with our hosts here. A PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta. And Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere. And the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly. But what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Do not lie to me about this, or I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you! Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Okay, I... Okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. Here. My car is just outside their security gate. It's a red T-208. I disabled the GPS locator chip so Third Echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. Oh, I will.
Grim, I've got the package. Good. Now here's the plan. They may not be able to track my car by GPS, but they've got a chopper on site that means they don't need to. They'll just blow me off the road. We're far enough out into the sticks that no one will notice. You need to disable that chopper, or you're not going anywhere. Roger that. That would be better to hold off on the detonation. Heads up. I think I've got something. Roger. 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 Full coverage. I'll let it set into another pass. There's no second chance with this stuff. You think it's really gonna work? Don't know. But I don't want to be the guy flying this thing who finds out the hard way that it did it. All units, perimeter check. It's not gonna dry quick enough. Get better. We're field testing this stuff sooner than I'd like it. Better keep laying it on, then. What do you think will be done? So, that's what you always say. <laughs> Guys, someone check if our prisoner's still there. Check your ammo. I know you're here somewhere. Come on out, it's a private airfield. Stay cool. <laughs> No way to tell son of a bitch. God damn! Got him! Oh. Quit hiding, you damn cowards. I'll look at every barrack and every shelter if we have. When I catch you, I'm gonna kick your ass! Grim, I've taken care of the chopper. Now I need to take down the field's electrical grid. Good call. Black Arrow jury rigged the hell out of the original system when they converted the airfield from civilian use. So it's vulnerable. The power relays are probably the weakest point. Where do I find them? One of the barracks had one put in, exposed inside the building. And that's my best bet. Attention all personnel, the mess hall is now closed until further notice.
Attention, attention. The weapons drill has been postponed until 800 hours. Repeat, the weapons drill has been postponed. Dish is taken care of. Then let's get you. 